What's up, everybody? Today, I just want to do a quick update on Jinko Solar Stock because I know this has been causing a lot of people problems, along with myself, because the stock price has been going down a lot lately. So if we look at the past year, we can see the stock has gone from $20 a share all the way to $90 a share. And now it's fell all the way back down to 34. So my cost basis is $50 a share and I'm down over 30%, which is over $1,400 on my position. So this is by far the worst performing stock in my portfolio. And it has not been fun watching the stock go down. So we're going to take a look at a couple different things here. I'm going to show you why I'm still bullish on this stock and what needs to happen for this stock to go up. Okay. So first thing is it'd be nice if Wall Street or some big money got behind this stock and pushed it up. Okay. The second thing is they need to report earnings, good earnings, and that should push the stock price up as well. Because the biggest problem I have with this is not the fact that the stock is going down, but the fact that they're still a great company and the stock is going down. So it doesn't really make much sense because they're still a super innovative company. They are one of the leaders in this industry and they have all these huge contracts that are gonna bring them lots of money this year. So one example of this is, I talked about this in my other video, is they're building the largest bifacial solar farm in Europe right now, okay? So they have that going for them. They have lots of different partnerships with companies in Pakistan. And we're gonna look at this article here that shows they are the number one supplier in India. And they're just involved in so much that I still believe in this company. So I'm gonna hold my shares. I still think it's going to 60 or $70 a share. So let's look at this article. So we can see it says, new surge in downstream demand has driven polysilicon shortage to a crisis point. Jinko Solar continues to counter this challenge and support customers. So what pretty much happened was an article came out saying that Indian solar companies on edge as Chinese vendors, vendors exit deals, okay? And then Jinko Solar came out and said they would like to clarify that no deals or signed contracts were terminated as this, as this report suggested. So although these prices of materials and production have gone up, and there's a huge shortage because they can't keep up with demand. Yes, that's going to hurt their profit margins, but in a you know in a year from now that should not be a problem. And they also said they they're not backing out of any. They're they're the only company that did not back out of their deals. Okay, so I know I said this before, but they're supposed to report earnings June in June for Q1 2021 and. Earnings should be great because last time the reason it didn't look so good was because they had a $65 million cost and because of this huge run up the stock price had. So that really hurt their earnings. Okay. The other thing was cost of materials was up big and that hurt their profit margins. But going forward, that should become less and less of a problem and we should see the company benefit from that. Okay. So I'm just really upset with the fact that this stock is, is a great company. They have all these things going for them and they're the biggest in the world at what they do. So, and they're in a growing industry. So there's no reason that the stock price should not be reflecting that, but we're, we're going to see what happens and I'm still bullish on this stock. So let me know what you guys think.